How's it going, everyone? Thank you for stopping by. They call me Kane. It's a pleasure on being with you here today. King of Retail is what we're playing today. Now, this game caught my eye. Um, I know it's been out for a while. I know I might be late to the show, but the game has caught my eye because, I mean, honestly, you're going to be running a retail business. And in my entire adult life, seven years, well, my entire adult life, most of my adult life for about seven years now has all been retail, retail, retail. Nope. Just all about retail, right? Um, a whole story about that we'll get into. But what is King of Retail? Well, I'm using my cheat sheet. <laughs> it's a store management simulation game where you as the owner of a new store must make the right decisions to make your store thrive and earn the big bucks. It is developed by Freakin' Games and published by Iceberg Interactive. So let's go on this journey together. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. It's a pleasure and honor being with you here today. Consider subscribing for more King of Retail and come on over to the channel. Check out all the different kinds of videos and games we play. Also, I'll leave my link uh, to my Twitch channel because we do go live every once in a while. <laughs> I'll leave that in the description down below. Other than that, let's stop yapping away. Let's jump into King of Retail. So let's create our own manager, right? Holy hell. All right, here we are. This is us. Um, our first name will be... I'm not prepared. <laughs> our first name will be Cons. And then our last name, we'll finish it off with Cons. <laughs> alone. Cons alone. Does that really spell that? If I broke the, my name up like that, oh my God, I gotta look at it. It does. So we're cons and we're alone <laughs> and that's actually how it uh it breaks up that's that's a little depressing but that's okay um first face is looking quite snazzy we can't rotate doesn't look like we can rotate that's fine let's go ahead and check out the hair holy hell um zero <laughs> zero is is it's good i guess um you know I'll be honest with you zero also let's see if we have a green eyes yeah we'll go with the green eyes skin well there is what's the palest that's that's us right we're the palest we'll do that exactly can't do anything about the clothes that's just how it is let's go ahead and create our manager is our manager ready our cons alone well he is he's ready to go he's alone but he's ready oh my god um you know what something's gonna drive me nuts here let's <laughs> i know we haven't even gotten into the game something's already driving me nuts what's driving me nuts is that my last name was not did not have a capitalized or a capital letter in it so we will fix that we did zero right we did one yeah we did one we did zero with the hair zero with that did one and then one. yeah that, that that's us right there good and then i guess there's another option here manager we are a manager of a corporation mode entrepreneur mode or back you know what we're entrepreneur baby that's what we're doing start the game Okay, select a city location, select a theme color. Oh my god, okay, this is getting a little in-depth. I, you know, again, I've never, I, I, I've never seen any videos on this game, so I have no idea. This is a complete blind playthrough. I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning, but I should have. So we have high population, medium population, low population, random. We should do random. We shouldn't know what's going on. We should adjust to how we're playing. Uh, poor, average, rich, random. We'll do random fashion is low medium high or random random now this could be an exact disaster right this could be an entire disaster. what if we have like a low population poor high fashion sense of city right <laughs> sense of town that we're going to. i don't know uh what is the store name well simply it's trademark fight me okay what color are we rocking here i'm not sure about the green to be real i like the blue traditional with the blue but the black is kind of spicy so we'll do <laughs> we'll do with the black um use color on logo no 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 can we actually choose a logo okay so there's there's a couple logos not a lot um i don't want to make it look like a shop like a grocery store right let's go ahead and like that's looking pretty fresh. Oh, wait, do we actually get a, uh, a demographic here? City demographics. Population size is 5.2 million people. And it looks like... It looks like we have an average of everybody. I mean, the most we have is probably uh, labor, right? And maybe... 
an accountant? No, accountant's white. I don't know what's what's this. I'm not sure. That's okay. We have, I mean, it looks pretty even, to be fair. So let's, like I said, let's jump right in. Let's start the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea what to expect. This is nerve wracking. If you want more King of Retail, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe for more. Congratulations on your new store. This is your pre-opening day, meaning you have all the time in the world to get your store ready for the grand opening. To help you, we have prepared a list of things to do to get you up and running. Would you like a representative to come by and give you a tutorial of the game? Absolutely. We have no idea what we're doing. Okay, let's get started with learning about the world your store resides in. And with that, let's start with the most important person to them all, the manager. I, 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 to be fair, I would like to be an owner. Oh, wait, unless we're, this is a, a manager we're hiring. This is Lisa. She is a fellow manager in another store. She has been kind enough to help us get started. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Obviously. <laughs> e, um, if you press and hold right but uh, right mouse button and move the mouse around, you can look around. Okay, E to interact with things. Your store. This is a newly purchased store, and seen from the entrance, any room in the store is one of the following: sales er area, storage area, and staff area. Okay, so sales, staff, storage. This is a model of the same store. Here you can see the areas by the color. Okay, yeah. Okay, so sales storage staff since each room has its own usage inventory can only be placed in their appropriate rooms so for instance registers can only be placed in sales delivery units can only be okay staff area you can buy a computer and perform online marketing activities to increase your reputation you can also buy various items that will affect your staff's mood in a positive manner for instance your staff will be happier if they can crack a cup of coffee crack a cup of coffee explain that to me here you have a display filled with articles. A display shows a unique type of article. Some displays can only be placed on the floor and others has to be mounted on the wall. Okay, uh, the numbers are, the numbers are the locations of the display. All locations has a number of places, four locations, five, okay. So at, okay, they have set attributes to make them stand out among others. So when a customer goes shopping, they decide if they wish to buy an article based off of these attributes. Okay. All the articles belong to a category. It is a shirt, shoe, piece of electronic. Of course, articles have a sale price based off the city average price for the category. Okay, little, 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 you know, sure, I guess. The three bars are the articles QDL, quality, design, and luxury. Quality tells us, tells about, well, the quality of the product. Design is about the attractiveness and luxury is how needed an article is in an everyday life. Really, a luxury is how needed an article is in everyday life. Don't know if, uh, if I understand that correctly. Your store also has a reputation for each category, telling you how we, how well you are known for selling articles of that category. Okay. Ah, okay, city and the customer. Each city are made up of several customer segments of various sizes, and together they constitute the to total population of the city. Your store has a reputation for each of these segments. Okay. Wealth describes their income. Fashion tells you how they're design oriented. Okay, we're getting we're, we're getting in the gritty. I, I I I mean, this is a lot of information to take in at once. I was hoping like it would kind of hold our hand <laughs> through it. Some customers will ask for help while browsing. If you decide to help a customer, a sales interaction is started. Oh, geez, really? First, you select the type of sale you will like to attempt. Some increases the need of a category, while others attempt to sell a specific article. When happy, proceed to the actual sale. Okay, performing a sale, there's two things to improve. The higher the sincerity, the higher the chance. If the sale is success, influence tells how much. Okay. You improve these through the topic buttons. A successful topic adds to the selected score. You can build upon boost buttons. These impact the chance of the effect. Again, this is a lot of information to take out at once. If I only have one complaint so far, it's there's a lot of go there's a lot going on right now. I'm sure it's you know easy to come by, but this is where we're at. A sale is over if the customer runs out of patience. You end the sale by shaking hands. Or if the customer gets angry. Okay. When customers are done, they will go stand in line at an reg open register. They will also get angry if they stand in line for too long, understandably. Each customer who buys an article will improve your reputation. So am I an owner or am I a sales? Well, I guess you could be the sales associate and an owner. I mean, it's your story. You got to run it, baby. 
Let's talk about the storage. Jesus. Ordering in the life in the article. Delivering unit. Okay. Generator stand. It's better to travel along the article. Life of an article. Cart ordered transit. Delivered in storage display. Basket sold. Really? That's, that's a lot of dialogue. This concludes our tutorial. Good luck. That, you know, sure. So here we are. This is Cons R Us. This is a very small store, I'll be honest with you. But we do have a little bit of getting started. To prepare your store for opening, there are a few things you should take care of before customers arrive. Buy a delivery unit. The mailman expects a place to deliver the articles. So that's going to be in our storage room, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's not use item. Uh, design inventory, manage articles, manage staff. Buy inventory? No, no, no. Leave the store? Absolutely not. We just got here. Okay. So how... <laughs> this... Okay. Ah, here we go. Article delivery. Special delivery. Request a delivery. Buy a storage unit. You need a storage place for the professional... Whoa. Whoa. Let's walk outside real quick. So I'm looking at the neighboring, I, I mean, opening hours, of course. The only one thing is like, hey, buy a storage unit. I, 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 I think we have one. Design inventory, buy inventory, design interior. This is getting a little better. Um, I guess let's start with the interior here. What kind of interior do we want? We can go with the old school. I kind of like the checkered. Little bit of old school going on. I like it though. We'll go with the checkered. I don't know what kind of sword this is going to be. We're going to have to actually look. But um, just designing really is, is where we're at. Ooh, no, no, no. Nah. Is there like a different color? Oh. Okay, okay. Can we actually like throw in a little bit of tint? We can. Don't know if I like that very much. Hmm. What about like a red? Like maybe a dark red? You know what? What's the actual logo on the outside? It's gold. So do we have like a gold we can do? Like a deep gold? This isn't too bad. That looks ugly. <laughs> maybe brighten that up a little bit. I'm not an interior designer, guys. I'll, you know, I'll say it now and I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I'm not. Who would have guessed? It's not too bad right here. Yeah, yeah. Let's brighten that up a little bit. Okay. I can see the bricks happening. Maybe. Oh my god. What is oh my god. There's a highlighter. Uh yeah, let's 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 stick with the black. Now that's not too shabby. No no no. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, let's do that. They always say never make your store black because it makes, you know, it makes a store like what? It makes it feel um, like small, right? But I have to be honest with you. It kind of gives a good vibe. Maybe not the right vibe we want, but it gives a vibe. So buying inventory. Let's see here. Storage. Here we go. Storage units. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay, so that's good. How much money do we start out with? $24,000. 20 grand for just that? We gotta start out cheap. We gotta start out cheap. This is us. Here we go. How do we rotate? Oh, just like that. Fantastic. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's gonna be that. We'll buy a couple. 20 units. We'll fill it up. I'm sure we can sell these later down the line, right? Um, but as of right now... This seems, this seems reasonable. There we go. Good. Now we have to buy a delivery unit. What does a delivery unit look like? It's like a pallet. You know what? We're starting out small. We could put the delivery unit right next to the door, kind of, right? We'll put it right there. It has a set of 30 capacity. I don't know if that's a great idea. What is this? That is insane. What is this? We'll do another pallet again. Very awkward. 
Very awkward placement for the pallets here. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll we'll say no. We'll say no to that. Let's order some order some articles, right? I display. Do we need a display? We should actually get a display. We have clothes, right? We have pants, shirts, shoes. Hmm. You know, it'd be cool. Like a shoe store, maybe. Right? We could actually do electronics though. Computers, mobile devices, groceries. Oh, I like where this is going. So let's walk outside first. Let's walk outside and let's uh, pull out the register. Register. -er. <laughs> you know the joke. Um, max Q is five. That's fantastic. Let's do like, let's do kind of by the staff room, right? That's good. One register for now. Right? Yeah, yeah. Can I interact with this? What happens when I interact with it? Open for customers, close the queue, move, sell, design. What happens if you design it? Oh, okay. Dude, this is awesome. Sweet. I'm all for that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Um, buy a display. You will need to showcase your articles to the customers. Obviously, we don't know what we're doing. Buy a marketing computer. Marketing will help you develop. So that's going to go into the staff room, of course, which would be office. What is this? Computer, lunch table. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and... But um, let's actually design back here. We can't just like leave them hanging back here, right? We'll throw in some wood. And then as far as wallpaper, we'll do um, like a tile. No, that's too dark. We could go with the same, right? Ooh. Can we like brighten it up? Let's brighten it up back here. Because whenever you have your employees, you know, taking a rest, they should always be in a... Uh, colorful estate kind of drives the mood up a little bit i could be like blowing gas up your ass but you know that's what i think um let's go ahead and get a lunch table holy moly this is a very small <laughs> this is a very small um maybe we won't i'll be honest with you maybe we won't okay that, that's better yeah yeah that's good okay what about a coffee we could maybe get a coffee machine in here, maybe, right? Maybe not. This is a very small staff room. I'll be I'll be the first to say it. I'm not I'm not proud of that. I'm not proud of that at all. So we can actually jump into the marketing. You can't do that today. That's okay. Well <laughs> That's okay. Uh buy a display. Okay, so we gotta figure out what articles we want, right? Article delivery, order articles. Okay. What do we have here? Wow. This is kind of cool. There's a lot of different kinds of stuff going on here. We got shoes, we got shirts, um, electronics, right? Electronics, computers, we could really like, dude, I remember having one of those as a kid, oh my God. Um, we could have like a tech, oh wow. I remember having one of those as a kid too. <laughs> uh, that was actually my first phone right there. Um, we could have like an electronic grocery store. It kind of gives me the vibe of like. Uh, I can't even sell liquor here. Kind of give me the vibe of like having a gaming, gaming grocery kind of area. I know people won't be playing games here, which is the downside, right? Um, and I kind of like the, g there's not a lot of selection to be fair. I don't know if there's going to be like research later in the game where we can like unlock more things. There's not a lot of different kinds. I mean, mobile devices, you could, I guess you could throw them into that category too and tablets that could be part of the like gaming universe with PCs. We could do that, but to be fair, I think we're, we're, our safest bet right now is, is close. Right, is close. So let's go ahead and sell stuff that's kind of similar to uh, our 
brand, right? We'll do the white tea, the basic white tea. We'll do the basic black tea. We'll match our freaking. <laughs> we'll match our uh, our, our uh, bottom here. Okay, see the little the little uh, the little meters down here. So we have about four shirts. We could do one more shirt. A plain black tea is not bad. I know it's like bad, <laughs> like literally bad, but um, I wear black t-shirts. <laughs> um, these look like soccer jerseys to be, to be fair though. We could do like the, the Cali life kind of like hoodie sweater, right? Let's do the casual black t-shirt. And I know there's a color trend here. I understand it. We'll do 10 of each. Actually, how much is this? We might actually do a little bit more. How much money do we have? We have 14 grand. This will cost us a little bit here. We could, you know, put pants in and everything. We'll do 10 of each for 1700 and we will order those. Order place. Fantastic. We'll go jump over to the pants, right? What kind of pants do we have? Well, we have casual pants. Yeah, let's start in the black casual pants. This is going to be like literally like to my liking <laughs> like it's gonna be based off of my liking which i mean let's see if it sells right and you can obviously see a theme here like a black and white theme that i like uh women's wear maybe okay so let's do 10 of each here so that you know if people want to at least match the outfit they can how much is this gonna okay the pants are a little bit more spendy i'll be real a little bit more spendy um order items good and then shoes we have to have shoes let's stick with the black and we should have just named this the black and white store honestly come get your black and white attire here i've never been a real big flip-flop kind of person right i am a big dress shoes person i don't even know what the hell those are <laughs> um okay i see i see too bad there's not like big boots or anything do we have that one up? Yeah, we have that one up. Um, uh, For the fourth one, I mean, really? I'll stick with the loafer. And then we'll do 10. 10 of each. This is going to be spendy. This might break the bank here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm scratching my nose. I have, like, something tickling the inside of my nose. All right, so there we got five. There we go. Now we have five, four grand left. Hopefully this goes good. Um, so you can actually make your own custom orders, which is actually pretty cool. So you don't have to keep going in and, uh, you know, doing all that. Um, let's buy a display now. We need to buy displays. No. Uh, display, please. Uh, buy inventory. Uh, no. Display. Display. Oh, right there. So display. Pants display. They start us out with a blue, which I take high offense to. <laughs> we'll do black on black, or we'll do like a white black. Yeah, we'll do a white black this time. And which one should we buy? Oh my god, dude, these displays are freaking expensive. We might have went too heavy. Now we're going to have to pull out the ghetto kind of like, this is where I hang my clothes after I take them out of the dryer type hang. Well, I guess it's not too bad. It's actually kind of like retro right boom and we'll do that we did that with pants that was our pants we'll do it with our oh yeah, there's more Ooh, that's kind of cool so those are our pants you know this this is kind of like a ross thing if you don't know what a ross is it's a, it's a not a thrift store but it's a store Dr uh, dress for less right so shoes yeah, we don't need anything fancy for the shoes. We'll keep it. Ooh, I didn't like that. That's a little bit better. Even that, like, is still kind of dark. But like a gray. And then the shoes will go right. Yeah, right. That's awkward placement, right? That's awkward placement. But that's what we're working with right now. And that's going to bring us to $1,600. Uh, so let's go ahead and request our delivery. Hi, I am on my way with the articles you ordered. See you in a moment. Fantastic. So, here we are. Cons are us. 
go in. Looking good. Now you can request delivery and get your store ready for opening. Okay. Fantastic. Oh, here's our here's our gentleman. Oh, ding dong. Did you hear that? The ding dong. Yo, let's go. Yo, look at our guy. He actually dressed like appropriate attire. Like we're in all black. That's actually how I dress in real life too. Uh, yeah, let's interact with this. Um, yeah, unpack it. Sorry, this guy's like, hey, there's not enough room in here. I understand. I understand. I, I ordered a lot. I probably ordered way too much. Ding dong. Come back with my clothing. Come on, FedEx. Just leave it. Leave it on the. Leave it on the doorstep. I don't care if you leave it off the pallet. It doesn't have to be exactly off the pallet. Hiring a manager is going to be our next thing, unless we are the manager. I'm a little confused on that part. I want to be the owner, but I got to run it myself. So, owner and manager. That's how it is. This is actually looking fresh. God, I hate myself for saying that. I apologize. <laughs> but um, yo. Where's our dude? Let's get another request coming in. Hi, yeah, yeah. Bring it on in, my guy. Monday, January 1st. So this first episode is really going to be an intro episode, kind of setting up the store. I don't know if we'll dive right into day one, um, unless it's going to be in episode two. Hello, how are you? Yeah, you, you bring in one box, but really you drop off 30. You're the strongest man in the entire world. I'm back. This one has shoes now. Shoes and shirts. Do we have enough storage? We might have to buy more shelves. We might have bought a lot of stuff. Really, we might have bought a lot of stuff. I don't know where these boxes are going to go. We might have to start putting them out on the floor, to be honest. I'm so excited to play this. I don't know. I think the reason why I'm excited to play it is because, like, it hits home. Like... Big time hits home. So I think we test it out, right? Let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna have enough to to um, to we're gonna have enough to to have all these boxes placed because I mean sixty articles in that one box, right? Now I'm trying to figure out how to actually put the clothes on the rack. Do we have to just come up here and go, hey, edit articles, move, design, design? Add articles. Edit articles. There's no articles here to be edit. Uh, get me out of that. Did we request a delivery? Please, delivery man. Come fill us up. Don't take that out of context, please. Move. Don't ever move the freaking thing again. My god. So I know that's in storage. This must be the entire storage. Let me see. Yeah, that's the entire storage. We might not have enough room. I'm back. Because now we're getting to the pants and all that. Let me take a drink. If you made it this far in the episode, consider hitting that like and subscribe. Honestly, like, we're going to be playing some retail, King of Retail. If you made it this far in the episode, you have some interest in uh, King of Retail, just so you know. I don't want to be the one to tell you, but I, I'm the one to tell you. All right. The music. I'm vibing a little bit. It's a little weird, but it's okay. Not sure how the adding article thing is going to happen here. Okay. 90 out of 100. Now, I don't know if we have to end the day before we set the clothes out. My God, he has to walk so far. How far can we actually walk here? Your game will not be saved. No. We do not want to quit. So that's how you quit. Is that how big our store can get? Like we can even have that space maybe too. Oh yeah, it definitely looks like we can have that space too. That we can have a huge store. That's so cool. Thank you. I think he delivered everything we needed. Unpack. I don't know if we'll be able to unpack everything now. I think we're going to be only to unpack 10. And if that's the case, we're going to have to make another, uh, yeah, storage. So let's do that. This might, this might be like terrible to do. 20 capacity. We don't have the biggest, right? We don't have the biggest, um, storage area but we're trying unpack 20 more 
We, this is all we have. This is everything we ordered is right here. We have six hundred dollars left in the bank. We started out with I think like twenty five grand. So this should do it. We should be set for a little bit, and hopefully, fingers crossed, they uh, end up liking our um, our selection of style. Okay. Again, not entirely sure how this is gonna work. Uh, but let's just end the day. Rent? What? Okay. I didn't know we had to pay rent. When your store closes, this is where you go to finish up the day and to prepare for the next. In here, you have all the time in the world to do what you need that needs to be done. Okay. To interact with any of these objects, go over and press E. When you are done, simply walk away or press escape. That you, unless you are busy, of course. Now let's take some look around. Okay, good. So we have an office. Holy crap. Catalog advertising. Here is the magazine designer. This is where you design your ad spreads to put in magazines to be read all over the city. Cool. First, you select the size of your ad spread. This influences the number of people that will read your campaign and also how many ads you have. Then you select the magazine to target. This will influence the type of amount of customers that pass by your store. Then you place ads onto your spread for each ad you place. Then you select the duration of the campaign. And by the way, you can't leave more than three campaigns running at a time. Oh, expanding. This is what I like to see. We're kind of familiar with the expansion. Options to saving. This area is where you manage your saves and also where you quit your game. The game is from the start set to autosave. Okay, good to know. Oh, yeah. Stats and finances. This is where you see today's results. A negative $120, please. We just blew 25 grand and some change. We can actually get loans. That's good to know, at least. Oh. Staff management. Here you get an overview of all your staff who are currently hired. You can assign their working hours, lunch breaks, tasks, give a day off, and a lot of other things. Okay. Your staff will have three different metrics, which you as a manager can use to track how well they are doing. Energy, mood, optimism. Good. Energy is used up during the day and depends on the number of work hours each staff works. Low energy will result in an inability to work in sleeplessness. Or sleepiness, sorry. Mood varies depending on which type of work your staff will be doing. Some staff will have presence, uh, preferences towards some tasks. The happier the staff, the mood is. Optimism is long-term standing with you and your staff. Multiple days of bad mood may influence their optimism. When optimism is low, your staff may quit or call in sick. Courses and talents. This is where you educate your staff. Send them on courses and advance their talents. Upon completing a course, your staff will unlock new talents. New talents will acquire your staff with additional skills. Cons alone. This is your computer. Here you can do various things. You can order articles and, ha articles and have them delivered the next day. You can view a summary of all the relevant articles for you and even... Okay, so, I, you know, first of all, I love that you can actually um, manage, right? Manage your, your, your store with other employees. Here you can apply for loans. Here you can view the flow of customers. Oh, job application. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Here you can see the letterbox. This contains applications from people interested in a job to work at your store. Pretty cool. And this is the table where you conduct your interviews. Oh, that would be cool. Opening hours. Oh, wow. Okay. Here you can set the opening hours of your store. Simply there. Dude, I can I do it now? No, okay. As a manager, you always meet in one hour before the store opens and leave one hour after it closes. City regulations allow stores to have open from two to, uh, sorry, two to, two to 10? Two in the morning to 10? That's weird. <laughs> regulations also state that you must also have a minimum of two opening hours a day. Okay. As keeping the store open brings hourly costs in the shape of power, heating, insurance, and possible staff wages you should learn. Remember, if you change the hours, it also check your staff schedule automatically okay this calendar shows events that is happening in the city wow this game is way more in depth than i thought when you are satisfied with your preparations head over to then go home and get some rest before another day busy day begins cool now first thing i would love to do is like hours absolutely now i want to try to like do it 
towards um like IRL. We were open it changed during seasons of course, but we were open mostly 10 a.m. to what what would it be military time? 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's 18. 10 to 18. 10 to 18. 10 to 18. 10 18. 10 18. 10 18. And can you not close on any of these days? If not, then I'll actually go with our seasonal, which was 12 to 5. Yeah. That's what we did. And that's permanent, baby. All right, good. We don't need to worry about that. We obviously don't need... Wow, you can actually see out the window there. We don't need to worry about that stuff. Advertising, we're not in the market for right now. Uh, design, I can hardly design anything. Article stats info. Quality, fashion, luxury. You know what? Yeah. What are the keys for? Oh, no, 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 no. Option settings, I forgot. Um, do we have any applications? We should, right? Absolutely. Let's go ahead and get some applications going. Shaka Canada. Shaka Canada? 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 <laughs> His phone number is... Who, who the hell knows? Um... To whom am I concerned? I am Shaka. Okay. Experience. A few courses in customer service, but no actual... Okay. No actual experience. My dad had a sporting goods store. Five years as an assistant manager in a gas station. Five years as an assistant manager in a sporting goods store. A summer at a gas station. Attended summer class marketing. You know what? Assistant manager in a sporting goods store. What's his name? Martise Paulson. Send it. What? Register restocking sales marketing. We need him to be on the register. Okay. Is this his skills here? I see. We have three points. I would love him for to be on the register and sales. He's not... Doesn't seem like he's very good on sales. Um, commuter likes long, likes longer working days. That's fantastic and talented. Earns XP faster. Dude, this I like this guy's register skills. Salary negotiation. Um. How would you like? To start out, 170. 170, please. 170. 169. Who would have guessed? So just that. Amazing. Much better than what I could ever hope for. 169. Good. He's good at register. He's a rookie in sales. His restocking is questionable. His marketing is questionable. Hire. Welcome to the squad. Now, I don't think I need to hire anybody else. I'll do the restocking, right? I think we're fine with everything else. Um, but that's that's going to be our story. But that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe for more King of Retail. We will be playing more King of Retail. Next day is, uh, guess what? Yeah. We're going to be opening the store with our new employee, Mr. Paulson, I think is what his name is. And if you made it this far in the video, then you, you, you should know that I am now recording these videos with no pants on. You can't see that. That's why I'm here. That's the glory of being able to create videos in your home with no pants on. You didn't even know. Till next time, I'll see you. Later. See ya. Bye. I need a better outro.